I'm looking at the wrong spot. I'm looking at my mic. So I went to Sally's. Um, can you see? Can you see? So I went to Sally's and I picked up, you know what? This is a really horrible spot to do this. At. Let's uh, go somewhere else. Okay, my house is a mess, so I'm going to clean it before I leave. Um, because I can't stand the mess. Like, I cannot. Like, I am very annoyed by it right now. <laughs> very annoyed. I need to move this sign because there's no table in here anymore. <laughs> what the heck? There's a whole piece of um, lead. Lead that did not get destroyed on the couch. How did that happen? That's amazing. Anyway, so yesterday, I really need chapstick. Oh my gosh. My lips are bothering me so much. Maybe that was not the color that I should have picked. I'm ashamed. You know what? This lighting makes this color look like really bad. We're gonna change it to a different color. This is an overly used one. Oh my gosh. It's fine. I just need to move on. So I went to Sally's yesterday to pick up nail files. Now, these are the nail files that I get. I've been using them for, is this gonna show? I've been using these for a really long time. These are the Beauty Secrets uh, Fine Extra Fine Nail Files. I love these. They're like $1. I think they went up in price, or maybe I'm just out of my mind, but these are really good. I try so hard to use a glass nail file. I break them. I am not responsible enough. I hope that when I grow up, I hope that I will grow up enough to be able to use a glass nail file. I do have some, I tell, I'm telling you, okay, I put, I have a maniology one and it works just fine. Um, and I put it away and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to pull this out and start using it because I like them. I actually do like them. I would recommend them. If you are not a klutz, I highly recommend them. I had it out for two days and then it fell on the ground. Why? Anyway, so I picked. I actually picked up three of these. Uh, the third one is upstairs because as you can tell, I did my nails and I love them. This is OPI's The Thrill of Brazil. I'm not going to show you my thumbs because I smudged them. Anyway, so when I um, went to go pick up those nail files, I uh, also picked up some nail polish um, and my husband was with me and I was like oh my gosh look they have it I picked up the peeps um he's like do you want them and I was like yeah and then when I turned around he had them in his hand and I was like are you trying to give me the whole collection and he's like yeah I was like okay that's probably not all of them I said there's more so they had these two so they had six of them there they did not have that glitter topper and that is what we're gonna be on the hunt for today we are gonna hunt down the glitter topper I heard that these are either textured or they dry matte. I forget which one, um, but whatever. I've gotten these like every year, maybe not last year. But Sally Hansen always does some type of peeps collection. At least they have for like the last three years, I think. Listen, my timeline, I can't. I cannot remember time. So I, um, I was like, here, let's get all of these then. Um, these kind of look like the one, the colors that they came out with last year. Uh, yellow, blue, pink, purple, white. I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm really intrigued by the marshmallow white color. I might go pick up a second one of this too. So, But that purple is so stinky. cute. Oh my gosh, a Skittles mini. A uh, Skittles mini. You guys, I can't believe that I was able to get away without seeing these. Somebody left a comment, and I'm so sorry, I can't remember. I can't remember your name right now. But there was a comment left um, asking me if I was going to do a review on the Peeps collection or if I'd seen them. I can't remember how it went. Anyways, um, and I was like, if I see them, and I finally found them. I finally, finally, finally found them. So um, hopefully we can get our hands on that last one um, because I feel kind of, I don't know, it feels kind of incomplete to do a collection review and I'm missing an entire nail polish. So that's just tape up there. Um, and I really wish it was just actually printed on the bottle so that's how I'm feeling I might even go to the park I need to clean my house though I should probably do that now because I'm looking around and I'm very frustrated I already 
made um i already did the dishes i made breakfast for my husband it smells like bacon in my house i do not like that i even left the door open i don't like the smell of bacon like i actually don't like bacon it's not my thing but like he likes it so i make it anyways and now my whole house smells like bacon it smells like thicky grease thicky grease thick greasy bacon all right let me clean my house real quick at least like get it semi-organized so that when i look at it it doesn't look like a bomb went off because honestly like what the heck there's hair ties on the floor it looks better already <laughs> it is like so bad in here you guys i think i might be in here a lot longer you should see my laundry room right now it's a disaster i have recycling behind me so or actually it's donations. I really wish that I could not hear what my neighbors were doing. All right, I feel, I feel like I'm dressed wrong. Like, FLDS, who? Um, it's like hecka hot outside. <laughs> Let me check the temperature. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I had to pull my hair back because can't clean if my hair's in my way. It's kind of warm outside. No, it's 39 degrees. I think I'm gonna have to change because this cardigan, I love this cardigan. Let me just show you the whole thing. Oh my gosh, I'm too short and too tall at the same time. Anyways, it's a really nice cardigan. It folds up the neck. Um, it's a cocoon wrap. I love it. It has pockets. Um, but it rats up my hair in the back and it's really warm. So perfect for like winter. I don't really dress appropriately. So it looks better. I need to take my sewing stuff upstairs. I so desperately need to find a dress pattern because I want to sew myself a dress and I want me and my husband to go out and take photos. <laughs> I just, I don't know. The idea just excites me when I think about it. So I'm not going to do that today. Should I go and get some fabric? Actually, you know what? Patterns are very expensive, so that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen because the patterns, I don't even know that they're on sale right now, so I should just wear my lip gloss. Just put on some lip gloss, I guess, because uh, that color was not it. I mean, it looks good in person. I've worn it in my videos. I don't know why it's a problem now. Should I pull my hair back? Because it's a warm day out. You know what? I might go do that. Let's go pull my hair back into a half, a half ponytail. I have been wanting to talk about fostering. Um, I just never really know how to go about it. Because it's a really serious topic and my, and my channel is about nail polish. <laughs> So, I'm always, like, hesitant. I should have brought hairspray down. Um, I'm always, I always feel like, oh my gosh, my hair's staticky. Well, maybe I'll just stick some water, water, on my hair to take out the freeze. Anyway, so I always, I want to talk about foster care and stuff, but, um, it seems kind of like a weird, it's like a weird contrast. So, I'm gonna do it here. Let's just talk about it here. Um, if you hear any noise in the background, that is literally my washer going, so. Um, I'll just say this. Well, actually, let's go back, let's go back. I have always, I feel like I've always been interested in fostering, I just didn't, think it was gonna like I wasn't considering it or hoping for it to come about in this manner um so I'm fostering I got into it through family so I'm doing kinship care and um it started off originally with one case with one kid well actually it's kind of a long story. Let me just simplify this. How can I simplify it for you? So it started off with one case. This actually goes back to December 2020. Um, I ended up having to leave town uh, because my husband's dad passed away. Um, I talked about that a really long time ago because uh, I left. We went to Georgia and I love Georgia. I loved all of the southern states. People were so incredibly nice. Um, there is, there is, so, the Southern hospitality is real. That's all I've ever said, okay? I 
am not from the south <laughs> um and so like we're not like that we're just we're not like that so um i got into fostering through family um it dates back to december 2020 i at the time i wasn't able to take on that case it was a case involving multiple children um and i had to leave i had to leave with my husband because his father was passing away like there was nobody else that was going to be able to um to do all that i mean because um i mean he kind of was out there by himself so i had to leave um and those kids were being taken care of and things were fine so then last year i got a call about a second case um, and let me just tell you, when people talk about their horrible foster experiences, and as, you know, maybe elaborate the stories may sound, these are very, very real stories. In fact, I'm going to say this. There are people that are fostering that actually should have an open case with CPS. So I'm just going to say it like that. Um, I'm trying to be really nice right now, but I get really upset when I, when I think about the things that happen in foster care. Anyway, I've, so I've always been interested in fostering. I keep trying to talk about fostering and let me just tell you, it's a very difficult subject for me. Um, I get really emotional because this is like, this goes back for me. Like this is not something necessarily new, if you will. Um, I grew up in a very volatile household and How do I explain this without being TMI? I, um, let me just say my mother was doing things that she shouldn't have been doing. Um, and when she kicked me out, I got very scared. I got very scared for my little brother and I reported it. And my brother was ultimately taken away. My goal, why is my nose itchy? My goal was not actually to have my brother taken away. I wanted my mother to stop, but she wouldn't. So I had to bring in the big guns, if you will. Because even her girlfriend, even her girlfriend was getting involved. It was frustrating. Anyway, so I, I listen, I was young. I had no idea what I was talking about or doing. I wanted to foster my, my little brother. Like I wanted so desperately to get him out of the care, out of care. And I thought that I could do it. Obviously I was too young. Like I was 16 myself. Um, that's not gonna work. That's not how it works. Um, I wasn't in a good situation myself. Um, I wasn't even living at my house. Like I had been kicked out. You guys, I've been kicked out a lot. <laughs> and it's not because I was a bad kid, okay? I was actually a really good kid. Um, I just, I was just really, like if you knew me at the time, you would probably have thought I was a rebellious teenager. No, I was upset with my circumstances. And yeah, maybe I was rebelling against the parents or the adults around me, but why is that? because they were not very smart and I mean that like they were doing things that they knew they shouldn't have been doing and so yeah I was rebelling against them but if rebelling against them meant that my brother wasn't gonna have to sleep outside at night then yes I'm gonna rebel against you oh anyways so this you know fostering now is kind of like he is kind of healing for me um I would say that if you're interested in fostering do it if don't feel pressured. Let me just say that. Do not feel pressure to foster kids because these people are going to be in your house. And I'm talking about the kids. These kids are going to be in your house. You're going to be uh, responsible for them. And if you don't like kids, don't do it, okay? There's a lot of people who foster for the wrong reasons. It's money. Um, I'll just tell you guys, I'm not getting paid. They won't license us because... We have a unfinished, unfinished part of our house. So. Okay. I'm trying really hard to um, vlog, but I feel like I suck at this. So before we leave, I just want to, um, I just want to share with you real quick. It is hot, so we're gonna open some windows. It is 48 degrees. Are you kidding? And I'm wearing a sweater. Anyway, so for fostering, uh, what do you need to do to foster? Number one. You file an application in every county. There's going to be, they call it different things like uh, youth, child youth and family services, or child protective services, or uh, I don't know. They have like different areas have different names for it. I just in general, I just call it CPS. My family members reached out to me and asked me if I'd be willing to help them out. I said yes. 
pass on my information and they did that so I was able to have direct contact with caseworkers I think a lot faster than somebody would if they were to just up be an outsider if you will so in my case um, I still had to go through all of the things I still had to file an application do a background check um, they did fingerprints uh, how to do classes did I say that already I don't remember I had to do classes they did an interview um, so two times they did it twice something like that there was a questionnaire I had to fill out um, you have to submit a uh, fire escape plan. It's it's pretty in depth. Um, one thing that kind of stood out to me was that after you get your fingerprints, like the moment, like I just gave them my fingerprints, that moment they said that I could be fostering at any moment. It's like, what? You don't even have the results back. How are you going to place a child with me and you don't even know if I'm really safe? I'm not a problem, obviously. Um, it's been a while since it's happened, but that's weird. So it's it's pretty uh, straightforward. I will say this: one of the things that I was really afraid of is I had this like irrational now that I'm thinking about it, but fear that they were going to take my kids from me. I did not want them to do that, um, and so we were very cautious. But I will tell you this: with our experience, at least with the caseworkers in the agency, it's been really good. Um, and we thought it would be a lot harder than it actually is. But these caseworkers are people too. They are boots on the ground. They see what's going on. They're talking to you, trying to get information from you. You know what I mean? So they, they care. I'm not going to say that about every single one, but I'll say in my case, with both cases that I was involved in with both of those caseworkers, they've been amazing. So, all right, we are going to go to the store and try to find this nail polish and we'll see what happens. Why do I look like a clown? I have one of those continuous spray bottles. I don't like them. They're annoying. Foot lotion because my husband uses these. Um, they're good. They're good for his dry feet. Then I picked up nail polish. This is the polish that I was missing, so it's just a topper, but they had it, so I got it. Then I picked up this collection from Essie. Uh, the polishes at Target today were buy one, get one 50% off, so perfect timing. I forget what the name of this collection is called, so I'll figure it out when I do the review. This is Ride the Sound Wave. It's a baby blue. I got in the universe this is a beautiful purple feel the fizzle which is like a topper your scent sensational i've been wanting like a chartreuse yellow ever since that what was the one that essie had and they don't have it anymore whatever and then i have it's high time which is like a sea foamy kind of green i wonder what's gonna look good on my skin tone though I'm a, I'm a little hesitant but i got all this i also got some other food but i'll hold that i'll share with you share with you what i got when i get home it's gonna melt it's ice cream so i think the lighting is best in this direction and you don't want to see my kitchen anyways because it's not finished love that for me ah, my shoulders i had to carry in my backpack obviously i'm not going to the park um i have ice cream <laughs> I picked up some enlightened ice cream. These bars are seriously so good. So good. They've got the almond bits in them. It's vanilla, dark chocolate, almond. These are delicious. Target carries them. I think there's another store that, it, that carries them, but I don't frequent that store very much. So Target's my favorite place to get it. Uh, I got my husband some favorite day uh, low calorie um, pints of ice cream. These are actually really good. He gets them or he likes them well he likes them with all the calories but he um gets them in lower calorie because he will eat all of this in one sitting he's a he's a big guy he's a big guy so that's like a snack um i'm making burgers for dinner because it's a beautiful day out so i picked up some ground beef to go with that i got some tater tots uh that's probably gonna be more for the kids than for myself and then um because we have to do quick breakfasts in the morning, I picked up two of these for, for the kids. I have to put all this stuff away. I hate that I didn't take my camera in the store, but the truth is, is that, number one, I don't want to drop it. Number two, I wouldn't have been able to like do it anyways because I was trying to carry my... Like, I had a hand basket carrying all this stuff, so... And three, um, I don't want the look like I don't want the spotlight on me which is kind of conflicting um because I'm 
in the spotlight on um on youtube but anyways after i put this stuff away basically i'm just gonna go pick up the kids and there goes my day there goes my day that's the way it goes it's just that mom life that parent life so anyways i um there was a polish there that i really wanted to get it was called like feel the happy it was a yellow polish. It was a sunshiny yellow polish. It was so stinking cute and I left it behind. Although if I would have picked it up, I wouldn't have had an even number of polishes and I wouldn't have been able to partake 100% partake in the um, buy one get one 50% off sale for, um, for the nail polishes. I'm seriously considering going back. I'm considering going back and I probably will because I mean Target has stuff that I need sometimes and I get it from Target. So... Anyway, I think, here, let me share with you what am I most excited for. I'm super excited about this. It's like a chartreuse yellow. I wish it was more neon, though. Don't you think that it was Chilato? This kind of reminds me of Chilato, but I feel like it's a very not neon uh, version of it. Oh, my gosh. Look at the details on this camera. Here, look at this. I actually think that this, I actually, I can stumbling over my words. I actually think that the camera is picking these up pretty darn well and I'm just using one crummy fluorescent light bulb in my kitchen because those long fluorescent bulbs are a waste of money we've it's like drop a hundred dollars to fill in all of the lights and then they start dying quick quick like three months it's like I just purchased you this is super cute I think this is going to be one of my favorites. I will say from far away, this one jumped out at me, but I feel like it's not, it's not, um, neon. It's not as bright. I don't know. It's, it, it was all lit up. You know what I'm talking about when they got it on the cute little display and it's all like super bright. It's like, and it's, it's living its best life. Um, and then when you get in regular, it looks a little bit dull. That's kind of what I'm getting from this, but it's still a cute color. It reminds me of like one of those Pirates of the Caribbean colors from OPI that people were like on the hunt for. I keep cutting off my head. I, I apologize. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to see if I can grab a bite to eat. I literally only have like 20, 25 minutes. Um, and I haven't eaten since this morning. I had just had some oatmeal. And I am hungry. Dang. Yeah, because I was cleaning. I spent my day cleaning talking and then we went shopping well i went shopping all right i think i'm gonna cut myself off here i just want to encourage you guys if you're interested in fostering you've been thinking about it go ahead and dive in there is a shortage i'm not gonna guilt anybody into fostering trust me it is a lot of work and there was a time period where i wanted to run away because you're dealing with different behaviors it is so overwhelming um, I mean, you are dealing with children who have been traumatized. You know some of their story. You don't know their whole story, right? Of course, there's some things that parents don't want to admit to. And then you have children, young children, just trying to cope with their circumstances. And then combine that with them being, you know, placed in your home. And in my case, I wasn't a stranger, but you could potentially be a stranger. And it is... It can be really hard. I mean, there were a lot of sleepless nights. There was a lot of me crying. Um, there were times my husband was going to call and say, we just, we can't do this. It did actually get to that point where it was like, I'm done. I cannot do this. Like, I'm not sleeping well. Um, I can't do anything in my home. There was just chaos. Like, my house was being destroyed. Things were being broken intentionally. And it's like, is it that that child's fault that they're dealing with this turmoil? No, but... It can be, it, it's not their fault. The things that they went through is not their fault. Anyways, I feel like I'm rambling. If you have questions, please ask them. I don't mind answering them. And um, I will be posting my review on these soon, if I haven't already. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this. Because I'm not sure if I want to do like a daily vlog or like a vlog over the month of April or how that's going to work. Let me know what you guys are interested in. I did want to vlog me and my husband going out and doing, just doing trails. We do that every week together. It's our bonding time. It's just him and I and we take photos. Um, and we have so much fun. We have so much fun. Oh, I also want to talk about like my gear for my videos, my camera, lens, mics, and all that. So if you're a swatcher and you got questions, I will answer those questions as well. So if you ask them here, I will probably just make a whole different video though. So a whole different video on fostering and then a whole different video on um, 
on my on my uh, my gear. I'm I'm over explaining. I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.